what's going on everyone week one nfl action continued on friday what's up i'm the sports judge welcome welcome back dude it's i'm not going to overreact too much here but i feel like that it is about the season in which saquon barkley just takes over the eagles offense i mean he is the tone setter for that offense what i saw in that game on friday night was a guy who set the tone for that offense Right now, people are getting amped up in Philly. They're feeling just crazy about their Eagles. All in all, I thought last night's win was encouraging. Big game, big win. They got the win and gave their fans two stress-free Sundays to begin their season. It, look, it, it wasn't pretty. It, it wasn't clean. It, it didn't have to be pretty for them to go to Brazil and beat the Green Bay Packers. Was it sloppy? Yes. Do they have some things to clean up? Sure they do. It's only week one. It's the first game. You can never put too much stock in one game with 16 games to play. This win feels tremendous, no matter what. They had to go make a statement that they are one of the better teams in the NFC, the most dominant and aggressive team in the NFC East. This year is going to be different. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is a different year for the Philadelphia Eagles. And even if adversity strikes again, I think the Eagles are equipped to overcome it. This year, they're just built different. Loaded offense, infusion of talent in the secondary. They got Super Bowl hopes. I'm convinced myself, I've convinced myself into believing this team can get back to the Super Bowl this season. But when I look at Jalen Hurts, I still see a guy who makes unquestionable decisions and forces throws in the red zone. Now, I'm not saying push the panic button, but that's something to keep an eye on. I'm still seeing a secondary that is Swiss cheese. So there are question marks about the offense and, and the defense. The point is, it's a season to be rational, and over the course of the season, you can only hope that Hurts cleans up his game. We kind of get a sense, after what we saw last night, that the run game will prosper this season. And I think as the season progresses, the defense will or should get better. I just can't imagine Hurts making that many terrible decisions once he cleans up his act. I, I just can't see that happening. I can't picture that. The first pick on third and 15 when he throws over the middle, I don't think it's, a, it's going to be a common theme for him as the season progresses. I think he'll get better. I think he'll work out the kinks and he'll just be fine. It's just getting a few game reps under his belt before he realizes that not a play like th that you can't force a play like that. I thought the defense was much better than expected. I'm interested to see if this Philly defense can can revert back to fundamentally sound and disciplined defense. I like how Kellen Moore, and I'm not a big fan of Kellen Moore, but I like that he completely changed everything about the offensive scheme. You know, and and you know Hurst is just going to have to be better. It's just that simple. You're the leader of this team. You have to make smarter decisions. Two new coordinators. Look at all the skill position players, the big dogs. A.J. Brown, insane to start the second half. Devontae Smith in the fourth quarter. When you needed a drive to put things away, he comes up huge, reliable. Put money on it. He's going to make the play. He's going to make the plays if you put money on it. He, he, that's just who he is. He He's that type of player. And then, of course, Saquon. They have the secret sauce of talent with Saquon. Dude. I mean, dude was insane. The Saquon signing was a home run. Saquon Barkley is a beast. Oh, my God. Is that man special? The brother is special. It, if you're a Giants fan, you got to be wondering, what are we doing here to let this guy join the rival Eagles? The sensational catch was insanity to start things off for his first touchdown of the night. How about the play when he's one-on-one -on -one with the defender and makes a cut to his right? The man is getting in the end zone. 
He's 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 an unstoppable force. He's a ferocious beast. He's running for over 100 yards. He's a threat in the pass game. I mean, I'm just left speechless. He's the complete package. What's scary about the Eagles is that they can turn over the ball multiple times and still outscore you because they are that explosive on offense. We know what they can do on offense. I think the better question is what? will the defense look like? What will the defense do? I think we've learned a lot about this team yesterday. We know what they're capable of. They're one of the best teams, rosters put together in the league, and now they got to go out there and prove it. It's about going, uh, you know, it's about going out there and giving it your all and playing your best brand of football. It's about uh, physically battling and doing that for four quarters quarters and I think the Eagles are favorites to win the NFC East I think they're clearly the team to beat they got to be more disciplined on both sides of the ball and I think that will come as the weeks continue and they will look sharper you know particularly on offense I think Jalen Hurts is going to be a lot better if he doesn't if he doesn't and if he continues to you know force throws and and turn over the football then he's not the quarterback that I thought he was capable of being. But I think he is that guy. I think he will have will have a season like he had in 2022 where he was putting up video game numbers, where he was putting up MVP numbers. I think he'll go off this season. I'm looking for him to have a bounce back year. I'm looking for the Eagles in totality to be a much better team, a, 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 a stronger bunch. And I expect them to have a fantastic year, a big year, and I think by the time it's all said and done, they will be crowned NFC East champions once again, and I think this is the year that they could possibly make a run to the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Hey, if you guys like my content, if you guys like what I do, do me a huge favor. Shout out your boy. Tell everybody, tell everybody about me. Tell everybody what I do. Hey, Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell tell a family member, tell anybody about the sports judge. Send them my way. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. You guys as well. If you guys haven't already, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. But I'm getting out of here now. I'll talk to you guys very soon. I got more content for you guys today. I got content all day for you guys. I'll be around. Uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace, everyone.